Alright, that last Tintabo phrase book didn't work very well. It almost got me stewed. But I packed another one along just in case. Let's try it on the Hermit. Let's say hello to him! If I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Wait a second. Is that right? Ah, let's try a different one. Let's ask him where the treasure is. Would you like to go back to my place, bouncy bouncy? Wait a second, something's wrong with this phrase book and I can't quite put my finger on it. Ah, look about the Takeshi's challenge. We'll figure it out in our own time. We'll find the treasure on our own. The hermit doesn't need to help me. And also, these guys don't need to help me. They're probably trying to tell me where the treasure is, and I'll have none of that. I have bullets! Also, someone knocked me out. I, I need to get my health back. I don't want to get murdered. This mound is important for something, but I'm looking for some villagers to punch me. You! Thank you! I'm a god. You have angered me. Now, we need to get up on this rock right here and crouch. Here we are! Welcome to the treasure cave. We can't get in here without the sacred rock. And it's full of scorpions and... Tiger spiders. I don't know what those things are, but they terrify me. I don't know why. But there's... And what the heck is that thing? A pack shark. A land pack shark. It's like a... Graboid or something. But the only way to get through this treasure cave is to find specific areas and you have to crouch down in a specific area to move ahead. I think I might have passed it out. I know the first area involves something long and doesn't look whatever that thing is. Ark! I make you all go away. But they come right back. Ah! That is so helpful but also quite annoying. Get away from me! Even our explosion blocks me! Alright, I'm sure it's- there it is, right there. Try to pause and remember where that is when you play the game. Also, I'm going the wrong way already. And I'm getting massacred by cheese! Or a weird rock. I don't know what that is. I think it's moon cheese. They store moon cheese down here, and it kills you inside. It's kind of like Cave Johnson with the, the, the moon dust. If you eat moon cheese, you might die. Also, it'll punch you for no good reason. Ah! Shoot the cheese! I'm gonna invent a new phrase, shooting the cheese, instead of punching it, or cutting it. I don't know what these pirates are doing here. Are they even pirates? They're probably the souls of lost brigands, trying to get this treasure for themselves. And then I shot them. Press down right there under that second stalagmite, and you end up here with all the skeletons. These are the bones of all the adventurers that have come before, and will come after. Because I'll probably die here. But I have to head all the way to the left, and I hope you enjoy both this music and the sound of Takeshi falling and jumping. Yay! Everyone knows the salarymen make these sounds in real life. Have you ever been to a loan company? Have you ever seen a salaryman jump? That's why. They don't want to make this noise. The cops will be called. Alright, I just need to get all the way left. And right here, I think. Nope. Gotta keep going. Actually, I think I went too far. Nah. You can't go too far into Takeshi's Challenge. He's already gone far enough. What the heck are those white guys, anyway? Those white midgets. What are they? I don't understand this game. I don't think I'm supposed to. If you hold down right there, that's where you get in. Please don't make me do it again. Please don't make me explain it, because I can't. It's just that's where you have pr press down. This, this video is not going to make a very good walkthrough, but I'm being punched by yetis that teleport through floors. Ah! What are the yetis doing here? Do not send the yetis and do not murder me right before the goal. I would be mad. I would be angry. Stop it! Spawn in from the other area. Yay! The treasure! If you didn't kill the old man, he kills you right here. But I found it! Yes! Amazing! Thank you, Takeshi! I've beaten Takeshi's challenge. It's amazing! It's so amazing! And let the credits roll! Right now! Hello? Credits? Um... Does Takeshi say the credits at us in, like, a word bubble? 
He's sitting right there. Hi! I'm I'm Armor Chocobo. How you doing today, Takeshi? I beat your game. What do you have to say about that? Okay, fine. In front of Takeshi and everybody, I, I have some more facts. The facts I've been holding on to, because this game is going to make us wait for a very specific reason. And I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet. But uh, I could tell you that uh, you might be thinking this game did terribly. Like, people did not buy it at all. It was like the E.T. of Japan, which isn't the case. First of all, Japan doesn't have a desert deep enough to bury this game in. But also, it sold around 80,000 copies, which isn't bad. It, I mean, it could have done better and it could have done a lot worse, but 80,000 is not bad for a Japanese game that never seen American soil. Till now. And if it did, we'll probably purge it like a zombie horde. But it, 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 it seems to me that this is all just one big practical joke on Katano's part. He's a comedian, and he was a... Uh, he was rather a, a raunchy comedian at times, and I, I wouldn't put him past him doing this. This is like, uh... I don't know, Robin Williams making a game. And he hates video games. I'm not saying Robin Williams will make a video game or he, that he hates them, it's just... That's... That's how it is. I think he's just, like, thumbing his nose at us for playing video games. He doesn't like people who waste their time doing futile tasks, like trying to beat a game. You should have done something important with your life, says Takeshi Kitano. And also, I have some more information from Game Center CX. They had a Reno have a, uh, a sit-down interview with one of the representatives of Taito, and they were talking about this game during his challenge. And not only did they make a strategy guide for this from Uta Productions, but the first strategy guide was so badly written and left out a lot of details, they got an exceedingly high amount of customers calling them back saying, hey, we can't finish the game. So they released another strategy guide. And that only helped a little bit. But Arena was like in Taito, and he was asking questions like, uh, who's responsible for this game? because there's no credits. We don't know who's responsible. And the representative said very earnestly that very few of the programmers that made this game have survived. And those that did gradually disappeared from history. No, no one knows in Taito. Who made this game? It's like they just went underground. No one knows. No one knows at all. And in fact, the writer of the strategy guide that failed, he died too. What is with this game? Is Takeshi a ninja? Is Takeshi Katano murdering all the people that try to figure out his game? Because I think I might be on the hit list now. And it's actually his birthday today as I upload this. I'm pretty sure he turned 67 today. Happy birthday, you ninja monster! that also knows comedy and hates video games. You know who you should kill? You should kill the guy that made the other M. That's that's a guy you should kill. He made a video game and it was bad. And it wasn't it, it wasn't the same level as bad. There's bad like other M bad and then there's bad this game, which is like so bad it's weird good in a way. I can't I can't phrase it. It's like it's weird and kind of off-kilter, and I kind of like it for that, but it's also immersiveful and irrelevant, and I can't get behind it. Oh, Takeshi! No! If you wait five minutes on the credit screen, you get this. Don't take it so seriously, man. Why are you so serious? Ah, I've been punked by B. Takeshi. It's like 28 years. After this game was made, he punked me. Wow, he is a genius. A genius of what I don't know. But this has been Takeshi's challenge. Why'd you take this game so seriously? Good night, folks.